vlogs and today we're going to be talking about breastfeeding. This is volume one of our breastfeeding video vlogs. So today we're just going to be talking a little bit about the initial steps of breastfeeding. Now the first 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 thing I'm going to say is educate, educate, educate yourself about breastfeeding. Read books, read articles, watch videos, talk to your doctor, to be a midwife, your doula, whoever is taking care of you at this stage when you're pregnant, you talk to them about breastfeeding. Um, I would suggest that you kind of stay away from forums. It's nice to see somebody else going through the same thing that you're going through and having the same concerns. However, forums are very, very scary because you're going to see a lot of negative things and it, it might get a little bit scary. So I would say stay away from forums and stick mostly to the professional advisors. As I said, the articles, the magazines, the books, and so on. The other thing I want to say is use your resources as I mentioned before. So if, it's, if you're a first time mom and you're not sure how to breastfeed, what breastfeeding entails, talk to your doctor. Ask your midwife. After you have the baby, before you leave the birthing center or the hospital, make sure that he or she, the baby, has a good latch. And again, you'll know this from asking the nurse or asking your doctor or asking your doula or your midwife. And do this before you leave the hospital so that will ensure that when you go home, you're not questioning whether the latch is a good one or not. Get to know the details of what a good latch is and we'll discuss that more in another volume about breastfeeding. This is just the initial steps of breastfeeding. The other thing is don't expect a huge letdown of milk as soon as you have the baby. For the first few days, all the baby is getting is colostrum, which is all the nutrients he or she will need for the first few days of, of their life. Um, this has all the essential nutrients that baby needs. Don't feel that because you're not seeing an extensive milk supply that the baby is not getting what he or she needs. It's just the colostrum. When you reach home and the baby, this little being is taken up like your whole life and you have to feed on command every two to three hours, make sure you're comfortable. I would suggest, and this is just my opinion, but I had a glider and it worked so beautifully for me because that's where I spent most of my sleeping hours. He'd be like, on, and I'd be like, out. So um, a recliner is awesome. If you can to get a recliner or a glider, then a nice comfy chair is just as good. Definitely, definitely I would recommend a nursing pillow. This is firmer support than a regular pillow and what it does, it, it supports the baby and takes the strain off of your neck and shoulders. So instead of you having to use your, your muscles to hold up the baby, the pillow does it for you and actually angles him or her at the right position to latch onto your nipple. Eat well. Hopefully you have somebody with you that can spoil you and bring you food and drinks as needed. But try, if not, still try to eat well, eat clean, because remember, whatever goes into your body goes into your breast milk. And drink a lot of fluids to try to keep your supply up. Um, keep records. Keep records of the time that you fed and which boob you fed from. And this will ensure that the next time baby needs to feed, you're feeding from the opposite side, so the next side can get refilled. And just one more thing. Don't let anybody tell you that it don't hurt. It hurt. I'm not even trying to trick you. Breastfeeding hurts. But guess what? It's not something that you cannot do. And it will only last, I promise you, it will only last a couple weeks. And once you get past that initial stage and you just set your mind to it and know that I just have to get past two weeks, I just have to get past two weeks, it will be all, all good from there. And pumping hurts just as much. So whoever tells you that don't breastfeed, you should pump, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know if they had children, I breastfed and pumped. But um, it hurts. But just get past that initial stage, your nipples will harden up and it will be good. Also remember that you're going to try to keep your nipples as moisturized as possible, especially in the initial stages. And you can actually do this by simply expressing a little bit of the breast milk onto your nipples and just rubbing it on and letting the air dry. So your husband or significant other will actually appreciate you walking around the house um, bare-chested, rubbing your nipples, so anyway. Um, <laughs> 
There is a brand called Lancino and that works really well with helping with sore nipples. You can go into the shower if you're engorged, if the breast milk comes in and you can't express it fast enough, get into the shower, turn it on hot and let it massage your breasts and it will help with the engorgement. So that's it for 